that everyone is here today and now I'd like to introduce my friend Marion Blake who is going to be the moderator for this session and as you know Marion uh, is currently the CEO of Aerospace Industries Association and previously was the head of the FAA for the United States where she was a, uh, an advocate for modernization of next generation air traffic control system as well as the implementation of the ADSB system. So with that, welcome to all of you and Marion, the show is yours. Thank you very thank you very much, Dave. Can everyone hear me? I just want to suggest that this really is a remarkable time in terms of transformational change in terms of the global aviation system. When you think about it, we really are at a point where we are going to have a pivot in terms of capabilities on the safety, environmental, and capacity front in the very near future. Leading all of this, of course, are two systems, NextGen in the United States and CESAR here in Europe. Two systems, two acronyms, and yet very much with the same mission and the same uniting technology. And by that I'm referring to automatic dependent surveillance broadcast, which is one of the foundational technologies for our systems. It's very interesting to me that we have two models that are very different going here. One, of course, with Cesar, is an industry-led approach. In the United States, next-gen, much more government-led. Two slightly different deadlines as well. Uh, with Cesar, we're looking at a timetable that seeks to have ABS be in place, mandated in fact, by 2015. United States, 2020. You know, there's a certain irony for me in this particularly, because of course I was a part of the original architecture design and commitment to next year. And now, here I sit, having moved from the government to the industry side, Sometimes tapping my fingers and saying, wait a minute, we in industry are champing at the bit. Can we speed this up? Can we move to the forefront? So as I say, all of this very much depends on where you sit. But underneath it, I believe we are going to have two very, very successful systems which must come together interoperably and lead the world when it comes to moving in to, as I say, this next generation 